Hi, buddy. Yeah, this thing looked kind of creepy when I first came through here. <laughs> oh, I remember these things being harder. Like, I had, like, the same sword, pretty much, and they were, like, taking it like it was nothing. They're like, you think you can damage me with that pitiful stick? And I'm just like, seriously? <laughs> This thing can kill anything, and yet you're just taking it like it's nothing. Um. Did it notice me? I don't think it noticed me. It almost looks like it did. And you fell. <laughs> I love th I love the f the ragdoll physics in this game. It's just so amazing. You just go like, "Huh? What was that?" and then drops. Hi. <laughs> that was funny. It, it almost looked like it tripped over the rock. Now that was funny. All right, lich pants. Where are you? Come on. I've come to take you out. Where'd you go? Where are you? Where am I? I'm in the wrong area. Don't know why I think I'm in the right area. What? So it's... Or this direction? Is it that tower that's there? <gasps> it's that tower then. I must destroy the tree that's in it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Ah, uh, what fun. The Black Grave. Ooh, sounds interesting. I missed. I didn't miss that time. No? Okay. The lich is gonna like reflect it back at me, isn't it? Hi! No. Hi! Oh wait. No, I'm out of magic. Probably have like a ton of potions that I never use. Let's use them. Uh, sure, we'll use a bunch of rancid ones. I don't really think they're going to do anything, though. <laughs> oh, we can get rid of one. Come on. There you go. Ow. Jerk. Jerk. Ooh, heavy silver warhammer. Me takey. Me takey all the. Oh, wait. Eh. Come on. No, my hammer. There we go. There's another one that's over here. Uh, I've, I've given up on it. Ooh. Wait a minute. There might be some more stuff in here. Okay, now that I've actually decided to take out a torch, where's the other guy? Oh, he was over here. Why do I think I shot someone over here and they passed out over here? Maybe he didn't pass out over there. What did that do? Kim? What did that do? Oh, they created a door for us. Cool. Hi, buddy. No. Oh. He wasn't really that tough. We will now worship the the three headed skull over there. I don't know. Teleport rune. Cool. At least um like all of them pretty much give you a teleport rune at the end, so you can just leave. That's nice. It almost makes it seem like somebody actually tried to get over here and there's like oh no I got trapped in here and then they died or they tried to go after the lich and they died before they can kill it there you go 
Kim's probably stuck over there, but who really cares? Uh, bounty board. Um, hmm. I remember I had to look for it, and I couldn't find it for the life of me. And then I think I, when I gave up, I ended up finding it. No, I couldn't find it, and I did the arena, then I think when I left, I found it. There it is. Here it is. Yay! What was this one? For Poisoner who settled in the desert of Ostian and poisoned with his tinctures groundwater. Okay. Let's go. And then we will continue onward with the main story. That's all this stuff. Wish I could have. See, this is where I would end up wanting it that they were all in separate quests. So I could just grab all of the bounties all at once. Just so I can, like, collect all the rewards at once. Because this is where you're. Uh, you go, like, oh, really? You're doing this to me? Well, if we crash, we crash, and then if we crash, I'll just go over there myself. Just not record it, but... The room is beautiful, you know? Like, if this was Oblivion, I'd get tired of it, but I'm pretty sure I'd probably just end up trekking through everything. Considering that one of the rules that I want to do for it is that I have no fast travel points. I just have to literally walk everywhere. Well, for the first time, then after that you can fast travel. Really? <laughs> it's like, stand your ground, man. It's like, okay, I've stood my ground. Now what? <laughs> oh, I tried to click E and I didn't do anything. Weird. Oh, Tablet, you're so cute when you try to save battery and you're not doing anything. Dramatic. It's being over dramatic right now. <laughs> now it's in screensaver mode. <laughs> so cute. Where, what are we doing? Is that just the game wind, or was that actually something like above me doing stuff? It must have been the game wind. Jump! No, you didn't jump. Stupid game. Jump. Game. Oh, when I want you to jump, jump. Ow! Desert creatures. Desert creatures! Huh. I think I dealt with them. With the kind and composure that I always do. See, this kind of thing reminds me of Sherman Oz a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Not completely. Over there. Oh, I think I remember this one. Yeah, this one had that stupid waypoint marker, didn't it? And I got confused. Was it this one? Yeah, because I didn't know I had to go in there. And every time I went around it, it made it seem like I was on top of it. Yeah, because I would be, like, right here, and I'd be, like, on the map, and I'd be, like, I'm, like, right there, and I'm, like, where is it? And I was looking around here, and I'm, like, I don't know where it is. I think I had goblins, and I think I had something else following me at that point. I'm just, like, oh, I don't know where it is. I'm not going to pick all that up. We don't need... Hi. <laughs> we don't need gold right now. You all dead? Good. Yeah, you're not going to be doing anything with your fists, Kim. You have a bow for a reason. I suggest using it.
There we go. Let's go. Oh, I wish I had the other mod. I wish I had my other mod. I have a heal that you can literally just spam and it heals you by like a large number. Pretty much. Oh. Well, that was easy. Found a top rune already. We found a legendary floating brick. We're done. We're done, Kim. We found a legendary brick that can float. We did it. We did it. After all our years of searching, we finally found it. Our lord and savior floating brick. He can't die either. He is our lord and savior. He will protect us. Ah! Floating brick, save me! What? Hey, you should have no fatigue. Poisoner. Wait, this is... That's the poisoner? No. Bye. Poisoner Zeta, desert goblin who delves into the art of alchemy. I hope he remains an isolated incident. Yeah. God forbid. Or stone brick for forbid that this thing actually ends up being not a closed incident. Oh no, whatever will we do? Ring of fate. Ooh. Doesn't really look like fate to me. Wait, what does it do? Uh, Ring of Fate. Um, but we use security to break into things, and agility makes us be able to dodge more. Well, I guess you could say dodge more. At least that's how I would think of agility as. Collecting all of these potions. We also found our pet skull here. There we go, we found all this cool stuff. All this cool stuff. What are we doing? What is all this? Found a garlic. What are we doing? Yeah, we're gonna need to go grab some extra stuff for our normal equipment, because uh, I actually found something when I had to redo an area, uh, and I think we're going to actually legitimately like it. I think I stored it without even looking at it twice. Ooh, poisons of destruction. They're not mine. I like how this goblin is so smart in a, in a way of hiding his poisons behind a fake wall but it's only him in here so it's like what was he hiding it from like was he hiding it from the other goblins if so where are the other goblins did he kill them and if he did there would be goblin bodies there was the one skull but that looks like a human skull, not a goblin skull. Who knows? Oh, there's Kim. Hi, Kim. Ow. Yeah, so I think after we're done with all the bounties, we only have one more left. Then that's it. And then we'll do... Look at the last item that I want to get a hold of for our normal equipment, and I think that's I think that's gonna be everything, I think. I don't really think there's anything else. On the big sea gate of the south southern realm, strange things going on. A sect that has its quarters there is said to have opened a portal into another dimension. From escaping the undead, it would clean it would clean up at the time there. Okay. Hi. Ow. Hi. Hi, Preacher. Bye, Preacher. Yeah, you keep praying that the proclamation. Is 
So I did look into uh, a little bit of where we are in the main story, just to know where we are. Uh, just want to know the roadmap of where we are kind of thing. Uh, we've just started chapter four. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be like that. Uh, we've just started, I think, chapter four, I think, or three or whatever. There's like either four or five chapters and we just started the second last one. Uh, and it's sort of, it's just amazing that we've gotten this far already. All right. Back over here. So we're a little bit behind, but I can easily catch up back to where we were. If my mouse would stop going the opposite direction and I'm actually literally point get, getting it to go. Stupid mouse wheel. Anyway. There we go. So I'm hoping that this will at least make us be at least a little bit more stable. So I think if I remember correctly on the map where we're supposed to go, uh, I should exactly know where we're going. Yep. So from what I was saying uh, throughout the entire series, pretty much, uh, I was only ever able to get up to the, uh, what was the main quest called? Where is it? Into the Forsaken Country. Uh, I was only ever able to get toward the, this part kind of thing uh, before we could teleport back kind of thing. Because as soon as Arch tries to teleport you back, nothing happens. Uh, I still stay in towards that uh, disabled player controls kind of setting so I couldn't move or anything like that and I'd be forever stuck. So I ended up doing all the side quests and I was able to even get to Kabayad throughout without actually not going through this uh, South Realm border station. And how I did that was that I ended up going around this direction going through here so literally I'll show you guys exactly where you'd be spit up at. 